Well hello and welcome to this day six of my crowdfunding campaign to raise the spectacular amount of £250,000 so we can finish our film of Infinite Worlds, our new sci-fi movie. And I'm doing this in a rather unique way by selling, um, we're trying to sell 20,000 of these beauties. So these mugs, these are special mugs. They say, I backed the new movie of Infinite Worlds by buying a mug. So please do buy a mug. Now today, um, I want to talk to you about how we got all the tanks into central Birmingham for that scene in Invasion Planet Earth. I spoke the other day about how we got the 900 extras in for the first shoot. Well, the tanks came about three years later. I was editing the film, we shot most of it, and we had the crowd scenes running, we had the ships attacking, but I thought, you know, we need the military. Wouldn't it be great if we could get tanks in? And uh, it was something I was thinking about. The film was just taking forever anyway, and I've been thinking about it for a while. And it was when we were having these sort of celebrations of the First World War events and being a freelance cameraman, I was invited along to rugby actually to, to film these, this event in the local park. But there were all these tanks there. So I went up to the chap that seemed to be in charge and said, look, I'm making a movie. What would be the chances of, of you know, getting tanks in the movie? And he said, yeah, I've got all sorts of tanks. We can do that. I've got 72 tanks. So I was like, okay. So, um, I then went to film Birmingham, who'd let us very kindly shoot the crowd scenes. And I said, look, I want to do another shoot. Um, but this time around, um, I want to bring a load of tanks in and some soldiers and um, some uh, machine guns mounted on the back of, uh, of jeeps and that sort of thing. This is all the, what the tank guy told me that he had. And she said, right, OK, well, we, we can do that. We can do that, provided we absolutely fine tune everything. Um, and the thing you can't do is have soldiers with machine guns. We can't do that. We, you know, it was not long after that terrible incident in France. So bringing machine guns into a public space is not going to happen, even though they were replicas. So anyway, so we had to organise a way of getting all the guns into uh, a van. And this was done by a great guy, Jack Weston, who organised all his troops. We had about 40 soldiers there. They had to meet up before the shoot, put their guns in the van and bring the van to the to the shoot, so that was that was one thing. Um, now getting the tanks there, you don't just drive uh, a tank down the M6, which is obviously obviously you know something I thought would be a possibility, but it's not. So we had to have load lifters. So these is great big lorries with two tanks on the back, and they brought them in, and uh, they brought in um, two tanks, an armoured personnel carrier, uh, a, a jeep uh, with a machine gun mounted on the back, and they brought these in by load lifters. And I remember, you know, it took about, it took about a year to get this together because it was just logistical, it was huge. Um, and also I wanted crowds there, but I didn't want 900 people there that we had, like that many people. So I, I very sort of carefully advertised, but everybody, everyone has had such a good time on the first crowd shoot, loads and loads of people turned up. Anyway, we got there and I planned it out to a T. And what had to happen was the tanks started at one end, they drove down the streets, um, they drove into the square, all the crowds followed, the uh, armoured personnel carrier drove around the corner, troops jumped out and pointed guns. That was the kind of plan. And then once we got those bits, I broke the shoot up to three. Uh, Lance uh, Nielsen took second unit uh, camera and went off and did one bit. Hugh Bowen went off and down back into the street and with, a, with a jeep and he shot his bit and I shot the stuff that was in the square. And uh, we just worked through it logistically. It was, uh, oh, one of the other things that went wrong was the radios died. I don't know why the radios died. Um, my lovely radios that I've had for years just stopped working. So we were literally, I was literally running around from, from location to location, but, but we got there. Um, we did it all very carefully. Again, I had lots of uh, guys and girls with cameras uh, who were in different locations around just getting shots of crowds, of tanks, of anything. And uh, it was just, Brilliant. It was another brilliant day. Everybody had an absolutely fantastic time. And, you know, we just got the most fantastic shots that when they cut in with the crowd scenes we'd shot earlier, and we did another shoot uh, in between with Lucy Drive and her scenes on the street, uh, we had a really, really fantastic sequence. So all those guys and girls that helped um, on that day to bring that thing together was just brilliant. And big thanks to Film Birmingham for that. Anyway, guys, another long one. Thank you so much. Uh, I really, uh, I'm really, really enjoying doing this campaign. I, I'm doing these videos every day for the next 90 days, and this is only day, this is only day five, so uh, I've got a few more things to tell you. Um, but in the meantime, please do chip in and buy a mug. Thank you if you've bought one already. Um, you know, 
we've got to sell lots of these, 20,000 of these, so if you can help, if you can share, that would be great. What I'm also trying to do is tap into sci-fi groups, into you know anyone across the world, anyone that's got a bit of cash that might be interested in, in coming in on a film, please do drop me a line, I'd love to talk to you. But in the meantime, buy a mug and please keep spreading the word. Thank you all so much, and uh, it's, it's Easter, well, no, it's Bank Holiday Monday today, so have a lovely day. As I'm looking out the window, it's snowing. So, who knows? Have a great day anyway, guys, and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.